Mm. Good shoot. Episode five. First thing we need is onions. These are yellow onions. You can use yellow, red. I would say don't use white. Yellow is the way to go for me. Now we're gonna need a lot of onions for this soup. If you've never had this before, I guess the only way I could explain it is this is basically caramelized onions with broth. Typically beef broth. I'm gonna be using chicken stock in this video because I have an abundance of chicken stock as you saw in part four of Good Soup. I've been making lots and lots of chicken stock. Uh, let me know down below if you want me to do a video on how to make your own beef stock or other stocks. Let me know. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed? Me too. I always like to work left to right because I'm right-handed. For those of you guys that are kind of like hard to get organized in the kitchen, this is how I do it. I work from left to right. If I work from right to left, I get kind of thrown off. Just a little, little thing I do. All right, you see all this scrap right here, dude? These onion skins, we can utilize this for our stock as well. So I'm gonna put that in the stock back here. Never waste your onion skins. What do you think, Michael? Should we do a challenge real quick? How long it'll take me to cut all these onions? Let's see, let's go. 57 seconds. 57 seconds, okay. I don't know how many that was, but there you go. So many onions, holy sh ah, I can make it work. I'll make it fit. It fits. <laughs> all right, um, I'm doing a lot of onions. So I'm gonna need a big pot. Okay, I'm just gonna add in a touch of butter. Just a touch. Once that's melted, just toss into my onions. Just give them a little mixy mix. And then we're gonna just cook them on medium heat. Around 30 minutes or so. We'll come back to this, occasionally stir it. And then we just like f off, play Xbox, whatever you wanna do till this is done. It's gonna take a while, so. All right, dude, we've got this here on the back burner. I'm just seasoning it with a little bit of salt. Like I said, we come back to it, we give it a little mixy mix, and this is gonna go until they're a nice, deep, dark color. I've got a video, by the way, on a shortcut on this, if you wanna speed this up. I believe it's on my chicken stock video, um, so check it out. It's a really simple process if you wanna speed this up and not take 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, this has been going for a while. Michael and I were just like around playing Xbox. <laughs> so you can go darker than this. This is good enough for me. This is a good color. Now I'm just gonna set some aside and cool it down in the fridge for tomorrow's Good Soup episode. Stay tuned for that one if you wanna see what I'm doing with tomorrow's Good Soup. Now for today's Good Soup. So these are my onions, right? What I'm gonna do now, adding in some rice wine vinegar, and then I've got some regular all-purpose flour going in. It's basically like we're making a roux because we've got all that fat in there. Now we just want to cook this while stirring on low heat. We don't want to burn that flour. You keep working it. You want to cook off that flour taste. And you should see it should start to kind of form like an onion looking paste. That's what we want right there. Just cook it off for another minute or so. Okay, now at this point, you throw in your stock. Typically, it's beef stock. I've got some chicken stock left over. I even have some turkey stock left over. So I'm just gonna use what I got. Chicken jello, I should say. All right, see what we got there? It's starting to thicken up because of that roux that we just basically made in the pan. That's good to go. So now at this point, we're just gonna season it to taste. This is the point where I'll add, you know, some more salt or some rice wine vinegar to taste. I might even add some pepper. This is ready to go. Okay, now this is the bread I'm gonna use for my crouton. You can use whatever bread you want, but this is what I like to use. Good chunk like that, that's all I need. Then I'm just sort of trimming off the crust sides there. Save that, save it for something else, like bread pudding or something. And then uh, I'll sort of gauge the size with my vessel. Uh, that's a perfect size actually, so that worked out. Or if you're doing a bowl, you know, gauge your size there. Just the tip. Look at the satisfying bread cutting. That one fits too. God, it looks so good. Place our crouton right in the center there. Now, typically, this is done with Gruyere cheese. As you can tell already, this is not a typical French onion soup. I've got Parmesan, so that's what I'm gonna use today. Parmesan cheese, and I'm gonna use a shit ton. Put that away for later. Parmesan's expensive. One, two, into the oven on high broil. So typically in the restaurants, we make these in a salamander, what's called a salamander. It's basically a broiler. So we're just mimicking that here at home. We just want to get some color on that. Nice. Look at that f 
That's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Bread, butter, onions. That's a French onion soup right there. Oh yeah. That's so good, dude. That's a really hot bowl. Fuck. Try that. <laughs> really good soup. Ow. I that told you the bowl was hot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Holy shit. I'm pretty stoked for tomorrow's good soup. Mm. Smash like, subscribe.